Put some respect on my game, you understand me? I ain't got no more talk. I'm pulling up on you, nigga. Put some respect on my name. Put some respect on my name. We all finished? So y'all done? Put some respect on it. 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 Now, the funny thing about this video is I actually was going to post this a while back. I had a video where I went in depth and I was super passionate about what it is I'm about to tell y'all. But I formatted the card for this camera and erased all of that. So I think it's quite fitting that I talk about something that's been kind of bugging me a little bit. That comes, um, comes from a place of frustration with not only the vegan movement, but you know, more specifically how we conduct ourselves online and on the internet. Now, here's the thing, man. These are opinions. These are my views. You don't have to adhere to these views. You don't have to agree to these views. And I invite you to disagree below if you'd like to in the comment section. But see, this channel, I do not want to put myself in a position to where I am bridling my tongue from speaking on things that I feel like I want to speak on just for the sake of keeping everybody happy because guess what you can't do that it's impossible it's impossible to make everyone happy but I do want to speak on something that I feel like I should voice my opinion on now I have unsubscribed to some of your most favorite and beloved most popular 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 hey that might be a new word to some of the most popular vegan YouTube channels on the internet and uh, it's nothing personal because I don't know any of these people personally I just know how they portray themselves online whether factual or fantasy I know what I see and that's all I can go off of right now and I'm, I'm okay to, to unsubscribe I can do that and I'm sure it's not gonna hurt them in the long run it really doesn't matter who am I I'm nobody special I'm just a regular guy showing you a glimpse of his life his lifestyle and how he chooses to live and if I help influence other people to do the same great I'm all about making sure everybody's being real with themselves so I've unsubscribed to some of the most prolific legendary uh, vegan channels and now I put my focus and my attention on positive channels like peace infinite waters diving deep once again so we're out here in the bedroom just woke up Ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. This is just a personal opinion. I don't want to hear your militant message about the vegan lifestyle because for me, the vegan lifestyle and the vegan movement is rooted in a sense of empathy, a sense of love for the animals, for the environment, and for our fellow man. I'm gonna tell you this right now, and this might hurt some people's feelings, but I'm gonna tell you my responsibility my focus is to love people first. That's what I want to be known for. That's what I would like to, you know, share with the world. I want to share that, you know, I, I can disagree with somebody on their views or how they live their life or how they uh, choose to eat, but I don't have to hate them. I have to lash out at them and, and, and make them feel inferior or try to press upon my belief. See, here's the problem. When you attach your ego to a move, a cause, um, especially something that's rooted in empathy and love, which I believe uh, veganism is a huge part of that. Um, when you attach your ego to something of that nature, I feel like it distracts and detracts ooh, and takes away from the authenticity, the simplicity and sincerity of the message. And what I'm seeing is a lot of militant people who may be militant in their approach. They are attracting a multitude of other people who like to mimic or like to adhere to that same approach. So when they speak on this subject of veganism or this vegan lifestyle, they, did, they then seek to lash out at other people and point out why they're wrong for doing what they're doing. No matter how justified these claims may be, no matter how backed up by research and, and, and scientific studies that they may be, I just can't get with that. And it's starting to get on my nerves. I feel like everybody on YouTube that is um, making some noise 
you know, is going about it this way. Not not everybody. There's a, there's just a, a, a big number, a, a huge group of people that I feel like they're very, very influential that could be, you know, spreading a more positive message and seeking to educate and, you know, facilitate an intelligent group of vegans that not only know what they're talking about, but are intelligent in the sense that they have married several senses with the idea of veganism. So they have the educational um, subset of veganism. They also have the emotional tie to veganism. They know the environmental, the ethics. They looked at it from a logical standpoint. I mean, these are the type of people that I want to be around. I don't want to be around the people that are militant and trying to force people to do other things and be this way and, you know, your mother should die from cancer because she doesn't eat vegetables. That's ridiculous. That is, that's so insensitive and it's almost heartbreaking, man. We got all these social justice warriors that are looking to change the behaviors while attacking the person. How, how, how does that logically make sense? If you're an ethical vegan or ethical whatever, how can you be ethical in your approach if that's your approach? So, I don't know, that's just the kind of bottom. I just wanna speak on that briefly. I'm not gonna waste any more time on it. I'm gonna move on right into uh, more of what I wanna talk about, just update you guys. I missed last week on the video, sorry about that. I wasn't gonna post this video because I was looking to have way more footage, but like I told you, I ended up deleting it. So I'm gonna double up this week and shoot a lot of footage for you guys. My thank you video for 1,000 subscribers got pushed because I was in the middle of shooting it and I was getting ready to edit it. And every day that I pushed it to, to put it out because I had to change the number, uh, more people started subscribing. So now we're at 2,000 something and I have to redo the video, the redo the thank you video and everything. So, uh, which is a good thing. I mean, you know, it's great to see growth and, you know, people joining the movement or whatever this is, peering in on my life. I don't know what you want to call it. But uh, anyway, I'm glad you're here. And I thank you guys every time I get on in front of this camera. So I think it's going to end the video here, man. I got more videos coming this week. Y'all just stay tuned, man. Uh, got a workout video coming hopefully this week. Um, my two-month update, vegetarian to vegan, coming up this week. And that's, you know, I just got some stuff coming down the pike, man. And 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 it's, I'm feeling good. But I apologize for this this vlog, this this video. It's supposed to be way... You know what? I don't apologize because this is me. If you can't take the good with the bad and the bad with the good, then what are you doing with your life? Like I always say, man, until next time, stay cool, stay smooth, and stay true. And don't ever forget... To put, put some, some respect on, on it. it. Listen, when you say my name, Please. put some respect on it. I ain't playing with y'all. Oh, put some respect on it. And I ain't gonna say it. And I ain't gonna say it no more.